What's up guys? Melissa here from Adventure Endeavor. We are working on some organizational projects today. Uh, we've been super lazy this whole morning and I'm actually really tired because I haven't been sleeping well. But um, it's very warm as well. So we've got the AC on. Uh, hopefully that's not too loud. We got all the window shades down. Um, oh, hey puppy. And uh, just been chilling. But now we're going to go head over to Tractor Supply and see if we can find a toolbox for the bed of the truck. So before we get too far into it, make sure that you subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Whew, it's a hot one today. So it's roughly 90, 95 degrees. Like Melissa said, we are on a bit of a organizational kick. We are attempting to buy a toolbox to fit in front of our Anderson hitch here. Um, and then our cover should just lay down on top of it. That way we can put a propane tank in there, some DEF, some tools, our ratchet straps, and everything will be protected from the weather. I believe you said, I believe she said that we organized the underbelly and we were able to get our smoker inside the underbelly. So now it's out of the back because uh, we're kind of gearing up to eventually, I think, put some laminate flooring down, some plywood, um, build out the whole rear, do a storage bench, build you an actual desk. Mm -hmm. So we're kinda, this is the process, a slow process to start, get the bed more organized, get some stuff out of the cab into the bed and kinda go from there. Yeah, um, it's funny because no matter how small a space is, it still gets disorganized very quickly, so. Totally. Did you bring the tape measure to measure this guy? Uh, no, I didn't. Well. Not gonna lie, we totally measured before we filmed, but because it's funny. But we're gonna bring a tape measure and double check, because knowing us, we will check in the parking lot just to make sure, because we don't wanna get it, come home, and then go back, and then also we gotta get rid of that giant cardboard box. I'm assuming it comes in. Most likely. Oh, which reminds me, we need to take our trash with us. Yeah, and we're doing a trash run. We'll check you guys soon. So the bed of our truck is a bit of a disaster. We gotta sweep it out in case, we gotta sweep it out in case we actually uh, pick up one of these toolboxes, we're ready to go. Yeah, so we're realizing that organization is something that's very important. It's easier to use your stuff, it's easier to store your stuff, and then it just makes life so much easier. The bed of our truck has kind of been a disaster. It's kind of been a catch-all for like random stuff. Yeah, exactly, and that is also the same for the toy box. Um, we have big dreams and aspirations for the toy box, but uh, you know, that'll happen eventually. But this is a good start because like we said, we want to organize the underbelly and now this toolbox, we get the truck a little bit more organized and then it'll just be easier to go on to the next step, which is eventually building out the rear. If you guys have any tips and tricks, let us know in the comments because we like tips and tricks. Anything that's gonna make our life easier. Right? Uh, Please. I think the toolbox will be good. We'll see if they have one that fits. And then, as well, living on the road full time, it's like, I'm not gonna try and ship a toolbox to like a mailbox store and like, it, it's just it's just not worth it. It makes so a lot more sense to just We're hoping, one. it says that they have one we're looking at that we think will fit online so that hopefully it all works out. We can just get it and be done with it and bolt it in there and which I don't want to bolt it in this heat it's too hot well we don't have to bolt it in right away we can wait that's true just put a bunch of stuff in it and it'll just sit in there yeah and then somebody will steal it with all of our stuff sweet
I like the handles on this one. This, unfortunately, we can't use this one because it has the overlap and we have our uh, soft topper, but. Oopsies. <laughs> Oops. The handles are nice. The handles are nice. So the only option we have is, oh, it's a 56. I don't know if a 56 will fit. That, was, that one looks shorter though. Narrow, because that's a 48. Yeah. This is a 48. Yeah. But this that's one's what we'd more want. bigger. But why don't we want bigger? Can we get it on? Can we do it ourselves? Um, yeah. I think we can. So this is a 56 inch, but it says it is for a full size truck. It's pretty simple. There's no compartments. It does have hydraulic lifts. Each each latch will open it up, so you can open from either side, and it does lock as well. So that's nice. I think easily our propane tank will fit. Fire pit might fit in there too. Really? You think so? Might be able to fit a fire pit. Yeah. Depending on the size fire pit we get. It's pretty lightweight. We lifted it off this this shelf by ourselves. But yeah, it's made out of aluminum. We'll uh let's see. So what are your thoughts? I like it. I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning I thought this was gonna be kind of a waste of a purchase, but I think it'll be good. Nice storage. I like storage. I think, I think it has a lot of potential. I just want to carry it out and see if it, if it will fit in our truck. I'm like 90% sure it's gonna fit. So the people at, blah, 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 blah. so the people at Tractor Supply were super nice. They're letting us bring it outside and make sure that it's gonna fit before we actually buy it. So, plus he's just adjusting the tonneau cover, and then we'll get it in there to make sure it's gonna work. So it fits like a glove. Um, it'll give us a bunch of storage. It clears the Anderson um, in the front. And we have the bed rail clearance, which is nice. So I think this will work out well. God, I can't see shit. All right, babe. So you were skeptical, but now now that she's blinded by the new tool box. Blinded by the light. Oh, gosh. We're going to get pulled from YouTube. Um, now that you have seen it in the place and the propane tank fits, the DEF fits. What are your thoughts on it now that it, it appears that it's gonna be a good solution for us? Um, I mean, I'm pretty excited about it. It's, I, I have this weird thing where I love things that help with organization. So containers, boxes, toolboxes. I know, I'm really weird. Oh, you but know what we didn't check? I, I'm I'm happy about it. We should fold uh, we should fold our soft topper over and see how that lays down. Oh yeah. That's something that we should probably check. You can either step over it or go under it. You can do it. You can do it. Do the limbo. Ah. Oh, I think that I think that's gonna be good. I think it'll be good. You know, the only thing is the that fifth wheel. The only thing I'm thinking is that. When this is down, we're not going to be able to get into the toolbox. Yeah, but if we don't want to put this up, we could always just store it folded backwards. Yeah, that's true. But then it's hard to get in the tailgate. Right. Hmm. I think it will work out. I mean, this thing's going to get... Yeah, to, to be honest, ready. the soft topper is going to be... Um, it might be going away soon because we bought it for $300 used and it's been great. Um, we just don't know pros and cons if it's worth if it's worth the struggle at times we really love it 
And especially in the south when it was like raining like every day, it was nice to have. Yeah. So when the canvas goes, we, we don't know what we're gonna do. But I think it'll be okay, don't you? Yeah, it should be good. I think it'll work. All right, well, we should probably go inside and pay for it now because they were nice and let us bring it out here. No, why don't we just go? Oh, wow. Wow. Let's get out of here. People know who we are. Well, like, you know, 10 people, so. All right, so it's not my ideal way of installing this, but the directions recommended some self-tapping screws into the sheet metal. Because we off-road, we'll probably get I think six of them would be good with some big fender washers and it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be good. It'll be good. Famous last words. We just gotta find them now. These should work. And we got some fender washers. And then we're just gonna go with these. We're just gonna do a simple install and see how that works for the time being. I think it, it'll be good. Hopefully. A few moments later. Making him do all the work. So we just went in to pay and now Jesse's strapping down the tonneau cover so it doesn't go flying like What's crazy up? when we drive. What's up? What's up? What's up? What are you saying? Um did you want to go to Walmart? Not I mean yeah, but no. Yeah, the puppies are know. in the motorhome and it's kinda of warm today, so we uh I think we're gonna head back and bolt this thing down and load it up with a bunch of junk that we like never use. Sweet. <laughs> and the thing was only 200 bucks. I mean, that's not bad, really, right? Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Uh, I, feel I like mean, I'm gonna go straight here. I guess I don't really know what uh, what toolboxes normally run, but. Well, let's put it this way. They had some other ones that were a little more heavy duty and whatnot, and they were like five, six, seven hundred dollars, so. That was the Tractor Supplies brand. They make their own, like, I mean, they probably don't make them. I mean, it was, you know it's I mean. like super lightweight aluminum, like we carried it out, no problem, yeah, just the two of us, but. It locks, it'll keep everything out of the weather and keep stuff from rolling around in the bed, so it yeah. should be good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Cool. But now I have to install it. Mm. I don't know. All right, so now that we're back at camp, um, obviously you can tell the propane tank fits. We got our DEF in here. Now we're gonna center it up and we're gonna run some of those self-tapping screws in to get it installed. So, got four and a half inches here. What do you got over there? To the edge. To the edge, the edge. yeah. It looks pretty close. It's like four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Okay, so it needs to go your way a little bit, right? Yeah. Wait, you have four and a half. Or four and a half. It needs to come my way a little, way, bit. a little bit. Smidge. Okay. Okay. What you got here? Four and three eighths. What you got there? Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. Mm -hmm. So, give me a sixteen. Sixteen. We got our. It's uh the whole the lid clears here. Um, yeah, I mean, the only thing is that we have this little gap back here, but that's, I think that's the way it has to be, right? Yeah, it because it needs to... Because if not, it won't open all the way. Pull back like that. Yeah, you want the lid to open all the way. Well, that's it. So now we just got to run some screws in, and Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Who's Bob? He's your uncle. Straight back here. Oh, hey guys. Hi. It's a very flattering angle. <laughs> Just do two more, we're good. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Damn it. Ooh, the 
bed of the truck is so clean. No mess. All right, guys. I know you love my hat, but that's not why we're here. We're here today because we're getting organized. So we got the toolbox bolted in. Um, we have this this roll up tool bag. We have this plastic box that we weren't using. We have a ARB tire puncture kit, ratchet straps. We have our quick detailer, which is amazing. It's a Rain-X quick detailer, which is awesome for keeping your truck nice and clean. Jumper cables. Then this side is kind of, we're just holding space right now. Believe it or not, that's a bag of cans because we like to recycle. And we got some rope here. And then over by Melissa, we got a, I don't know, a toolbox, propane tank, and uh, an air hose for airing up our tires. And then as you can tell now, the, the bed is super clean. We still have a lot of room if we want to do firewood or any other items. We have the Anderson hitch, which we love. We'll link that. I always forget what side it's on, but we'll link that. And then now, so basically we just close her up here. And then we go ahead and bring our soft topper down. This just lays nice and flat. And then what we do is we just take this guy. This is uh, something that we did not learn the hard way, which if you guys have any soft toppers, don't do this. I mean, don't forget to do this. When you're driving down the road, you got to throw a strap on it. Otherwise, it'll probably fly up and hit your fifth wheel or just like get ripped off. So then we just tighten down the strap here and bada bing bada boom. We're leaving it down because we're moving in a couple days. So I'll just leave it down so it's out of the way. And we still got a good amount of bed space. And then as well, we talked about if we want to go camping just in the bed of the truck, sleep under the shell, we can always take the hitch out, use this for storage or we could just sleep in a ground tent. It just gives us a lot of options. And uh, yeah, so that was just a quick little video about getting organized, at least in the truck. And we talked about the trailer, which we're working on, it takes time. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you like it, Melissa, let's give, our, give us a thumbs up. But like always, thanks for watching guys.